Hey guys, just coming back from a little John outside. I wanted to share the message with you today. Gorgeous day, huh, Karen? Beautiful. I get ready for the climb. I'm ready. Hey, just um, we do this meditation that basically says, you know, have a plan for the day, but don't be worried about changes that life throws your way. So yesterday, the change was we come back from uh, Breck, running some errands, and. Uh, this woman says, hey, do you guys live here? Uh, great, I'm glad you do. There's a beaver down here. This is in the parking garage. There's a beaver uh, down in the parking garage and it went in the, these... Uh, ski uh, lockers. Thank you, ski lockers. Thank you, couldn't think right. of the word. And she was worried because there, the door goes up and then shuts and it was locked into that huge parking yeah. garage. So I said, you sure you saw that beaver? I've never seen a beaver come into a parking garage. But, you know, all kinds of crazy things happen in the mountains. So. And she looked like she knew. Well, she had on, she like, knew. hiking pants and hiking <laughs> shoes. She looked like a naturalist. Like, yes, she you was know. very official. Right. You know, so anyway, so I went back down later. And uh, the um, it wasn't a beaver. It was a, a marmot. A marmot, yeah. So it looks like just like a beaver, only it has a little bit of a furry tail. So that flat tail that they use to pack the mud in their dams. But anyway... So uh, the point is, we were supposed to be up eating dinner and uh, we spent two hours getting this marmot out of the uh, parking garage. We got it off to safety. It ran over that hill over here, just walking by it. Victory, so that was great. Um, today we're just going to check on a friend here. Uh, we were off going on our hike and basically, um, you know, someone needed us to help him out. We're going back to check on him now. Uh, the, the point of the story is, you know, there's a lot of things that happen, curveballs that come your way. And at the end of the day, you've just got to be ready to uh, make those changes. Uh, you know, I, th I thought it was funny. This guy from security, we were helping him with a marmot, kept saying, hey, sir, I don't want you to ruin your whole night. You know, go ahead and go do what you want to do. And I said, no, I'm, I'm here to help you. I want to get this thing out. It's going to ruin my night. I can tell you right now, if I go up and tell my wife, that we just left this thing down here for the night, just gonna worry about it all night. So he actually did come up, but had me come down and help. So yeah. I got to feel good in, in the whole part of it. Right, but the I point think... is, isn't that right? If I would've taken <laughs> off, we didn't get to see that thing, oh see gosh. the light of day. I would've ruined my entire night, which subsequently would've ruined Jeffrey's because I would've worried about this, you know, animal that relies on us. Um, I mean, it can't press that button to get out of the parking garage, right. so. I was glad we could help and same with you know with Frank um, you know some people would just probably keep on walking they go I don't want to get caught up let's go do our thing but I have to be really honest in fact we're just about there so we'll drop it yeah. drop it but it felt really great to be able to help somebody out and it didn't interfere in our day if anything it enhanced the day right? oh without a doubt yeah. but anyway so keep your eyes open for those bends and twists and turns in the road and uh, you know a lot of times it may be just to help out your fellow, fellow man. Other times it may be, uh, you know, a business opportunity. So, you know, I live uh, by the mantra that, uh, you know, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. So um, take that to heart. Go out there and enjoy your day. And uh, we'll be talking to you as I watch the baby ducks swimming off here in the pond. Okay. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love. It's usually Karen's line when she's off. We'll see ya.